Hi, I'm Jess. Uh, I'm away from the office at the moment. I'm out of the country. Um, I'm having fun, but I'm still running the, the property empire from here. I wanted to record a short video. It got me thinking, being out here. Um, I'm, I'm of the opinion you should try and own stuff, not do stuff. Uh, let me explain what I mean. I think you should buy assets that work for you so you don't need to work yourself. Uh, it's not laziness that makes me say that. It's something else. And uh, anyway, building an asset, basically, I'm not saying it's easy anyway. It's probably going to be quite hard work. But personally, I want to buy assets for safety, for security, uh, to guarantee that my hard work pays off, doesn't get wasted. And I've seen it being wasted a couple of times before. I was at dinner party the night and three people told me three separate things and it just led to this opinion being reinforced. First, a chap I know, um, he just changed his job. He works in artificial intelligence, AI. Now AI it seems to me a bit sci-fi, a bit far-fetched, but he told me a story about a computer that's been learning. It went to law school, it went to medical school. So now you know it can give you a perfect contract in 10 seconds. It gives you, yes, it does fixes your ailments or sorts your ailments out quicker than a GP. It does extraordinary surgery, hours and end, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I, you know, I, I go to the doctors, I don't see a, a, a computer, I see, a, I see a GP. My lawyer's called Cuthbert. I have to go to his office to meet him. Um, when will, I, when will all this stuff actually make any difference to me? And this guy said to me, my friend, he says, um, my old company turned over two billion pounds. My new one turns over four. We've got several competitors that are all just as big. So AI is in almost every industry. It's making an impact right now. Um, it was confirmed again, second conversation of the night. I met a surveyor. Uh, he said, a surveyor used to take two days, two people. That's a site of, you know, levels, the odd lights outside, a big one. Now it takes a drone pilot two hours. What's more, the, the drone pilot then programs in all of the, um, all of the site into the diggers. The digger tells them exactly where to go. I spoke to a lady the same evening. Her business supplies contractors to the railway industry. It's under threat because robots can now do the same work as her men, uh, but faster, cheaper, better, blah, 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 you know. What's that got to do with property investing? Uh, I'm not a Luddite. This story isn't new. My grandfather tells a similar story about the time, uh, you know, farmers bought tractors, you know, got rid of the horses, bought tractors, people were out of, out of jobs. Advancing technology is generally progress, for, you know, better for the long term. But long term doesn't really help the 40 year old solicitor, the GP, the site surveyor, whatever, all those people I met. I say 40 because, you know, 25 year olds will, will adapt, 60 year olds retire. The person stuck in the middle is the one that's, that's, that's affected. Personally, I've, I've experienced this, um, or well, something similar. But, yeah. I used to own sandwich and coffee shops before Costa Coffee, before Subway, before Tesco's Express. Um, they were really successful. So successful, I guess, you know, 10 of them would be you know, premiership football kind of money. You know, they, they did well, then one day they weren't successful. Within five years, takings had almost halved. Um, and setbacks like that really hurt. Disruption really hurts, whether it's AI or Tesco's Express disrupting you, you're probably gonna spend a decade reinventing yourself. It took me that long. Um, when I reinvented myself, I built a property empire. I did it on purpose. It wasn't all plain sailing building the property uh, empire. It took effort. I had to enlist some specialists for sure. Um, I was building using momentum investing. It's important to say that. I had limited funds. I had to keep recycling my capital into the next property. You must learn how to buy multiple properties from one deposit. Uh, otherwise, you, just, you simply won't be able to do this. But once I'd done, I'd built a sizable empire. I felt safe. Uh, and if you want to insulate yourself from the uncertainty in the world, be it the advance of the shifting you know, marketplace or AI or whatever it is, um, I can't think of a better way uh, to do it than um, building a property portfolio. It's hard to imagine a better business to run or a better job to have than being a landlord to get you off that hamster wheel. Um, when you get it right, it's it's scalable and it's stable. You know, it's stable because um, well, people need places to live. More people are renting. People are renting for longer periods. Popular populations are increasing. Uh, demand for rental property isn't ending uh, anytime soon or reducing anytime soon. It's scalable because you can take it to whatever level you need. Um, we've got clients who are aiming for three thousand pounds a month. We've got clients who have surpassed that. But, you know, three. we've got some who are thirty thousand pounds a month. Once you've got the basic building blocks, you just keep adding until you're satisfied. Um, I'm going to keep buying properties until the day I die. Why would I not? It works really well. Every month we had a couple of properties. You might need help building your own empire. Um, if you do, be in touch. 
my team can definitely help you. Uh, best of all, once the empire is built, its success does not rely on you. Uh, I've been in this villa for over a week now. Um, I've been just as much at work here as anywhere. I've answered the same emails on the beach. I've checked reports by the pool. Uh, I've had a Skype call on the terrace next to the barbecue whilst cooking the barbecue. Uh, in all the time I've been here, I've made exactly the same income as if I was uh, sat in the office at home, <laughs> sat on the moon. Um, this week I've worked on the property business less than two hours. It wasn't really very hard work, honestly, just emails, phone calls, checking up that kind of admin work. I did everything from this smartphone that I'm recording this on. Uh, my advice to you, start building a property empire now. If you need help doing it, book onto it one of our discovery days. There'll be a link below to book on, I know that. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you very soon.